So again, dears, we are in the subsection like 1.6, going to talk about uh, determinant and Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule is another method for solving things, and we have a determinant. This one is very important for a inverse, which we, we have two important notes I should tell you about A33, how to find, and how about the inverse is exist or not because not all the matrix has got inverse so we are trying to start with the determinant the determinant means that if you want to uh, for example you have a b c d as we mentioned if you want to say find the determinant we symbolized a as a um, absolute value but we you know we have a number we have a matrix here so it means that determinant so that's the symbol of the determinant the determinant is equal to AD minus BC, means that main diagonal minus second diagonal. That's for A22. Okay, dear. For example, if A, as you have in the example one, page 126, example one. In that case, you say that find uh, A is equal to 6 minus 3, 2, 3. So, Determinant of A is equal to, we say it's equal to 6, 3, minus 2 by minus 3. With the result equal to 18 minus plus minus 6 is equal to 24. So A is equal to 24. We know that is very important. Okay, dear? That's about how to find the determinant. How about the determinant for A3 or 3, 3, NN? We have n and it's more than uh, two variables. So how we multiply this one? To find in such uh, determinant, we need two uh, or three two concepts here that he mentioned it in your lecture. We need a minor, minor of m, the matrix of minor, and we see the cofactor also they say the cofactor is equal to such example with the minus one ij m i know this one is not easy for you but i will give you the example or we will solve the example you see it's easy for example if a is equal to two three minus one and you have zero two four okay minus two five and six if I say find the minor, okay, the minor, uh, for example, we say minor, let minor be as in, in your class, uh, in your lecture, page 127, you say minor, let find the minor 1 over 2, or 1, 2. When I say 1, 2, means that, where's 1, 2? Here's 1, 1, 1, 2. Why? Why 1, 2? Means that second, first row. Okay, and second column, you know, second column. For finding such element here, where we should select the minor. So it's the first row and the second column. Means that this is our minor. So the minor, minor will will be like that. We eliminate these row that the minor we, we select the minor here. We eliminate e first row and the second column. So it remains what? It remains, we see the minor, 1, 2 is equal, is equal to determinant of the remains elements. Like that. And you know how to find the 2 by 2. So if I have 4 by 4, I see for example 1, 3, and I will, we will have the 3 by 3, again one, another minor, you get the result. So before you mix all these one, take it easy. One any one that you like it, you can use it. For example, I say find the minor of uh, two by two. How we find two by two? You know, here's two row, two column. The second row here means that eliminate the second column. So is equal to what? Determinant of two minus one minus two six. Any one that you need, you can find the minor. For example, here's a three by three. You see, we will select three. And it will cancel 3, it remains 2, 3, 2, 0. You can see here. Okay, it's a minor 3 by 3. So we'll cancel the third row, the third column, it remains just 3, so it's our minor.
okay that's all about the minor before we finish the minor we need what uh, we, we we need to find the determinant but we how we find it this is the minor after the minor we need a cofactor what do you mean by cofactor the cofactor as i told you is equal to a12 for example multiplied by my12 and we have a something like that we say what we say for example we have 2 3 minus 1 0 2 4 minus 2 5 6 for example i say i say the minor m12 is equal to what is equal to as i say we will cancel that one and cancel that one it remains 0 4 minus 2 6 was equal to 0 by 6 minus 4 by minus 2 was equal to 8 okay then we say a12 is the any matrix that we need to find the determinant we say is equal to cofactor multiply m12 cofactor is equal to minus 1 we will say minus 1 1 plus 2 here we have what 1 2 so see we plus 2 multiply 8 because we know this is our result 8 so in that case minus 1 without with 3 is equal to minus 1 multiply by 8 was equal to what is equal to minus 8 that's the important things we need it because later we will combine all these together okay dear we will combine all these together so and uh, there's an important things here for finding the cofactor co you don't need to count every time this one as that one that no we will start with the one for example if you have three by three the symbol of or the cofactor symbol instead of counting this one you have a minus plus minus okay minus plus minus plus minus plus for example if i have four by four I say plus minus plus minus again minus plus minus plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus like that okay dear so that's the uh, checkboard or you can can say that's a ch uh, checkboard pattern or any things to, for finding the cofactor now the important thing is that the remains here determinant of a11 for example a is equal to what for example if i give you 2 3 minus 1 0 2 4 i say find the a and the determinant okay together now you understand about the cofactor and minor, minor so if i say find a is equal to what how we solve this one we see the determinant of a is equal to we choose the first okay you see the first cofactor so it remains what if i say choose the first as a minor i see the minor of a is equal to one, to two then we will cancel what we'll cancel the other okay dear we will cancel the other so it means that it remains what two four five six okay so I told you this one is positive, this one is negative, this one is positive. So I say negative. Why? Because here we have negative instead of i plus j. We will choose 3 as a cofactor. So if I choose the 3, it remains what? So I say 3, okay? By what? 3, if I say 3, we will choose that one and we will cancel that one. It remains what? 0, 4, minus 2, 6. So I say 0, 4 minus 2 6 minus 2 and 6 now the third one is positive yes and i'll choose the cofactor here i say minus 1 and if i choose this one i'll it remains what which determinant 0 2 okay minus 2 5 that's all in that case we will find the whole of things that we need 
we multiply you know how to multiply you have two and you know how to find the determinant 12 minus 20 minus 3 0 minus 8 plus or minus 1 multiply 0 plus 4 okay then we will say 2 uh, here it remains minus 8 is equal to minus 16 okay minus 3 multiply here well, we get minus 24 and we have minus 4 which is equal to uh, equal to 44 minus 44 okay dear that's all about the determinant so the determinant of a as i told you the absolute value do not mix it is equal to minus 44 that's all that we did it how we did it we choose anything that we need maybe maybe you say i am going to use another things how uh, you say i will use uh, the second as a common as a cofactor how as I did in your lecture two four minus two five six so I'm going to use the second minor. Why we use the second first row as a minor? I will use the second minor. But do not forget about the positive and negative. Okay, as you know, we have the bad pattern here. Don't forget about this pattern. Okay, so I say okay. Determinant of a is equal to minus. Why minus? Because I have positive, negative, positive. So here, negative, positive, negative. Okay. Say so minus zero. Multiply anything that we need. Plus two. Okay. If I say two. We have what we should cancel these two right cancel these numbers so it remains two minus one two minus one and minus two six then minus four okay if i choose four it remains what it remains two three we cancel this one we choose four we cancel two three minus two five now it's time to multiply it's zero multiply anything is zero that's why we didn't mention it so it remains 2 by 12 minus minus plus uh, is equal to minus 2 minus 4 multiply 10 plus 6 again equal to uh, 10 20 minus uh, Minus what? Uh, 10, 16. Yes, 16 is equal to 46. And it remains again 44A. You can see. Maybe the other student try to use this one. I'll give you some trick here. Please first try to find the determinant. Okay. And this solve the example. If you want to, for example, you have such example like that. You have 4 of 4. Okay. How we find the determinant of 4 by 4? That's an important uh, uh, notes in 1.129, in page 129. If I have A is equal to 1, 2, 0, 4. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 3. Okay. 5, 6, 2, 6, also 2, 4, 0, 9. You can see. Here's the first row. Sorry about that. Here's the second row. Okay. It's better to start your mean uh, minor or your coefficient with what? With the zeros. Why? Because if you use the zero, zero multiply anything will remove it. So that's why I'm going to use the second row as a minor. So I say what? Positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So I don't remember. Do not forget about the minus 3. And the rest will be cancelled. 